Hi, I'm Peter. And I'm Jeffrey. And, and this, this is Living, Living Miracles, Miracles What's New for November 2017. Okay, well, thanks for joining me, Jeffrey. It's good to be on the show, Peter. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. And we're back in Chapala again at La Casa de Milagros. Sunny Mexico. So let's uh, get into it. You're new on the show here this time around, but we're going to talk a bit about what's been happening uh, this month. Well, there's been a lot of extension, Peter. Yeah, so our beloved Michael Caruana was off to Tijuana to extend to a few Course in Miracles groups run by Olivia Morales, who we met in Tapazatlan as one of our retreatants. So Michael has been open to extending throughout Mexico. And in fact, there's been news now that he's off to North America a little higher. That's right. He's joining Diana. And just in recent news, they said they're going to be heading to North America, actually specifically back to Camus, the metaphysical center, where it's going to be opened up for the devotional stays. For people who want to come out for a week, two, month, whatever is the calling of your heart. And also they're going to be open to traveling around up to Canada even, open to invitation for retreats and gatherings and even some movie nights. So that's pretty exciting news we have there. And also we've had some uh, friends who are going and sharing and extending. Eric Archbald was at La Quinta for our first of La Quinta sessions. That's right. For a beautiful music evening before we had a beautiful send off where he's going to Northern California. And we also have uh, Jeff, um, who is heading towards Peru. Yeah. And um, many miracles there, so we were lucky to have an interview with Jeff. Let's go to the footage, Peter. <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> Here we are on site at La Casa with Jeff Wilbur. Yeah, I got to tell you, I'm actually super excited for what you're going through. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I, it's a total miracle. Oh, I think it was two weeks ago on a Monday, I make a phone call to a couple of people just to check out, make sure their internet's going to work because they're interested in the mystical mind training program. And at the end of a 40 minute call, I'm, it's in my mind, I'm going to Peru. We just agreed at the end, it would be great to go and they, they'd love to have me. So I was just higher than a kite. It was just this, this draw, come. <laughs> with, it was like with open arms. And uh, so yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, and you're gonna be doing the MMT into Spanish down there. That's the plan. Yeah, it's just, there's just a, a huge, huge calling for it. And um, I've loved MMT since the day I, I started here. Um, I just, it's always been in my heart. And it's a great, it's a great online program. It's a great way to, to join in community without being in community. And as David said, community is only in the mind anyway. But this is a beautiful way to, you know, to bring back the mind to the, to the present moment uh, with all of the, you know, it's full of multimedia full of videos and audios and all kinds of reading and then there's uh, it's a great program. <laughs> so who's hosting you again in uh, in Peru? Yeah so um, it's Paulette and her partner um, Felipe. He's uh, he's actually from Colombia and, and Spanish is his native language and his English is lovely and Paulette um, she has a background in um, exactly what we need. <laughs> She's a uh, background in video uh, dubbing and editing and uh, some audio stuff. It's it's just, I mean, I c couldn't ask for two better people to be on the team with. And because of my excitement, I'm, I'm, I'm listening to people here as well and in Monterey who are interested in helping out with the translation. So this team is, it's, you know, it's, I guess it's, it's the old thing from Field of Dreams. If you build it, they will come. And uh, they're already coming. Like it, it's already the demand is already there. It's just now a matter of focusing in to get this, uh, to get the work done, to get it turned into the Spanish. What uh, what part of Peru is it? Is there a town associated with where you're going? Yeah, or? the town I'm going to be staying in is called Huaran, and it's about an hour or so outside of Cusco, and it puts me about two hours from Machu Picchu, uh, and I don't know what that means till I get there <laughs> to see. If there was a prayer of your heart that you could share right now for this next next phase, what would it be? The prayer of my heart's already been answered. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like I can't ask for any more. It's it's just a matter now of having having prayed for it. Here it is. Now, go do it. Be done through. Now it's a matter of following. And here it is. The guidance is here. It's clear. Go for it. I certainly want to put my heart and soul into it. <laughs> 
So we have just revamped one of our websites. It's acim-mexico.info and we have this site set up for anyone who's um, come to the area or coming towards uh, Mexico or Chapala area and we have our events listed on this page and activities what's happening here those who have a calling to extend and to uh, volunteer we have a volunteer application form on that page so we use projects in a way for healing the mind and, um, and just a way to just be in devotion and practice service. And so we've had people come to join us uh, in activities such as gardening and um, helping with the cooking and other areas. And we have a Facebook page too. If you uh, search for ACIM Mexico Info on Facebook, you'll find our uh, Facebook group there and that has more information about events too. So check that out. Yeah, Deb and John have a Facebook page for the local community extension and another way to link in, and that is called ACIM Life in Lake Chapala. So if you search for that on Facebook, you'll find their page. And that's a terrific Facebook page too because they've been posting heaps of information uh, for people coming to the area who want to join in, who are interested in accommodation and what's available. And they just um, so much support, so much help there. So I really recommend checking out that page if you are thinking of coming to the area. Yes, it is a great page, the How To Live in Chapala. So this month we had another beautiful month of potlucks. Saturday night is potluck night. Mm -hmm. We have everyone bring from the local community a tray of food, and we sit back and watch a movie with some beautiful deep teachings from David Hofmeister. This month we enjoyed Chances Are, Mystic India, and last night, in fact, Sully. We watched Sully, mm -hmm. and it was, uh, it was a great time had by all. So we're gonna show you uh, a small snippet from David teaching during that session here. And tonight's movie is called Sully. It's such a great teaching movie for talking about guidance, for talking about facing the doubt thoughts that arise in your mind when you decide to commit to spirit or God or peace of mind and then suddenly you get hit with waves of doubt thoughts. When you start on the spiritual journey, you have to become intuitive. You have to rely on that, that inner knowing that you have. We can be drawn to go inward to really listen. What is it you would have me do, God? What direction should I go? What direction will loosen me from this strange world <laughs> will take me, will unwind me from it instead of winding me into it. We also have David Hofmeister flying out from here to South America where he'll be visiting Colombia from November 24th to the 26th for a three-day retreat. After which, he'll be launching to Sao Paulo, Brazil from December 1st to the 3rd for another three-day retreat, which I'll be at, Peter. Oh, lucky you. <laughs> And then we also have David is going to the 2018 International ACIM Conference in San Francisco. And that's going to be from February 23rd to the 25th. And if you'd like to go to that event, go to acim-conference.net. And from there, you can forward to the link where you'll be able to sign up for the conference. And make sure you select David as the speaker that you want to hear speak. You definitely want to do that so we can see David on the big stage. That's right. <laughs> Next year in 2018, we also have a big event coming up, Peter, and that's Strawberry Festival. That's right, the Strawberry Fields Music and Enlightenment Festival. So if you would like to come along, we're going to have some fantastic performers there. And you can go to strawberryfieldfestival.com and registration is open. So strike while the iron's hot, make sure you get along to that site. Next year, August 2nd through the 7th, 2018. We'll meet you there. It's great to be on the show, Peter. Yeah, thanks for being with me. Yeah. <laughs> thanks everyone for joining us. Thanks for joining us. And Bye, Candios from, from Chapala. <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs>